All right, so I'm gonna do a quick roof video. Um, so obviously different locations of the roof are gonna age differently with relation to the sun. Like you see over there how much they ate, how much that roof is aged in relation. Sorry, a little bit of a glare right there. Um, the worst location on the roof is obviously this section, which I'm going to certify for two years. Um, you will have to get it replaced in two years. So, um, I think you should probably look at it and see if it's the solar is owned or leased or paid outright. And if, um, you do, and if you have to pay for the solar in general before you're purchasing the home. There's different contracts that are set up, so. The worst section of the roof, obviously right here. Um, like I said, um, not this is not accurate reflect the entire roof. Um, I would say this section right here has five to seven years. So right here, you can see the conditions are much better. So you're not gonna replace you're not gonna replace the entire roof in two years. Just this section and over here. Um, this is called a California weave right here, where they actually weave in the valley. This is the best way to do what's called a cl uh, closed cut valley. Um, you start from the bottom and weave across this way water doesn't get through. And most of the time, they actually properly flash, run a flashing right in between before they do that. You don't need a cricket on here. This is enough enough flashing so water can uh, divert away. Um, let me keep going. This is not really high uh, strength or high temperature tape. That can get redone. Um, <clears throat> that, I think it was probably duct tape, just like over here. All this duct tape should be taken off. Replaced with proper um, storm collars. And like I said, you can see over here, this roof, it looks way better. So, a lot of it's relation with the sun, and you can see right here where it ages quite a bit again. Like this section again, two years, max. Um, yeah, this is actually even less than two years, but I'm going to certify it. A lot of it too is based on the kind of sheathing below it. Um, and again, <laughs> let me look in the attic first to see if there is any leaks. If there's no leaks, then obviously I'll certify it. If there is, I'm not going to. But um, that is uh, kind of just the breakdown of the roof. So this area, which is in relation to the sun, you can see, and the same side on the garage. Those are the worst areas, which is 30% of the roof coverage. Up here, the roof is fine. So 30% of the roof, maybe a little bit more, has two years on it. And the rest has five to seven. So you can see right here. You should also put in the count. Um, maybe you can see if they have in their contract, um, if the solar company has offered to remove the solar panels for roof replacement. Um, sometimes they'll do it for one time only, and sometimes they don't. So I think it's important to look in the fine print of the solar company, see what kind of offers they have. Anyways, that's the that is the uh, roof inspection port video. And again, you can see, yeah, this is the garage, or over here is the garage. So, <clears throat> so you can see. But for insurance purposes, I'll certify this roof uh, for the loan. Um, something like this would definitely be requiring a roof certification. Anyways, thank you, and uh, I'll be working on the next video.